Hello everyone, I'm Deep Gautam. So it's time for charts. So how we can create different kind of charts using Angular 5 and the supporting library which we are using chart chaos. So let me show you what you are gonna do learn rather than uh, showing anything else. So this is what you are gonna do learn. This is chart chaos demo application in Angular 5 by .NET actually. So the bar chart you can create in such manner, pie chart, then you will learn polar chart, then you will learn line chart, then you will learn dog good chart, and uh, then you will learn radar chart. So all the charts you can implement using chart chart, and you can integrate chart chart in angle of five. So how you can do that, that I will teach you by end of this tutorial in next five minutes, I will tell you how you can achieve this easily and this is very very simple things to achieve it and I have simplified in very good manner in my course so let's see how you can achieve this thing so first of all I will look to point out what needs to install so if you are having a node npm and you install angular cli after that you just run the command create one new project called ng new and your let's say chart demo and after once chart demo is created, just try uh, if it is working fine or not. So just run and you start. After that, you need to run just this simple command npm install chart.js alpha alpha save. That's all. So your chart.js library has been installed. And now, so what will happen? Nothing here comes in the module.ts uh, with respect to chart.js. Only thing you need to add after installing over here is this is important line import star as chart from chart. So, everything whatever there in the chart there, please make me available directly. Uh, no, uh, you must have noticed it directly. We are importing in our import section, so that's uh, about how you can import it. And let me collapse it and show you the code line by line. So, let's see. If we talk about how we have implemented bar chart, so let's see. First of all, I would like to show you what is the HTML uh, behind this bar chart. So this is we are using one canvas whose ID is bar chart and given height, width, and size bar chart. So so this is the HTML part. Now in the simple manner, I will tell you. So this is uh, I have declared bar chart. It's kind of type any. And in NT on init event, I am trying to implement this bar chart. So what I need this dot bar chart is equal to new chart, which is taking the idea of that HTML canvas. Here I am defining the type of that, and this is the label which you would like into the chart, and this is the data set. So data set and the data set can have label, data, background, and the box border color. And what are this? Then other thing is the important thing is options. So in options we can have the title of the chart, text, and bar chart and shape. So <coughs> this is about type script. How we have to write the type script. Even if you are using service to bring your data, you need to just fill up this bar. That's all. You just initialize this chart anywhere. And in whatever the event you would like, uh, want your chart to be bind that, you just apply this array such uh, how the bar chart will work, and you are getting the bar chart easily. So that was uh, like about the bar chart, and which has important options you need to define uh, type, data, options, type. Yeah. So we are done with bar chart. In this manner, you are able to see bar chart. And uh, here, bar chart, this is the title which comes from bar chart. So these are the labels which is coming, and these are the numbers. So it shows the red has nine votes, and blue has seven votes, and yellow has three votes, and uh, green has five votes. And uh, where this data is mentioned in the data part, basically, now it is five two votes. So this is about the bar chart, and let me show you some other chart as well. So when we go to pie chart, this is my pie chart. What is saying in the pie chart? You need to just define the type as a pie chart. So 
and that was really fun to see my child.